Our need for energy takes a heavy toll on the environment. Fossil fuel extraction and use is accelerating global warming, deforestation, land degradation and soil, water and air pollution. And yet, with population, development and economic growth, our energy needs too are growing. That is why geothermal energy, with its unique ability to supply robust power in a renewable and eco-friendly manner, stands out as an excellent option. Geothermal plants consist of a relatively small infrastructure built around narrow wells dug in the ground. With steam and water heated naturally by the earth as the energy source, geothermal doesn't burn fuel, generates hardly any greenhouse gases and produces virtually no effluents. Geothermal flash plants release only excess steam into the air, while binary geothermal plants, which are closed cycle operations, release essentially no emissions. The closed cycle process means that only a limited amount of water is used and this is sent back into the earth to replenish the reservoir. Because of these characteristics, geothermal plants can come up in the most pristine environments without requiring the felling of large numbers of trees or the clearing of large areas of land. In many parts of the world, geothermal plants have in fact come up in protected areas where they have helped regenerate forests and maintain biodiversity. Geothermal provides an indigenous baseload. That's important. But it's a baseload that's not dependent on uh, fossil fuel. It does not generate greenhouse gas. It's indigenous and therefore it'll always be there. Costs will be relatively stable as opposed, let's say, to fossil fuels where the delivery of fossil fuels involves burning more fuel and it will involve uh, sailing through rougher seas, uh, more um, variable climate, thereby increasing the cost of fossil fuel. An indigenous baseload gives you access to an opportunity to decouple economic development from the cost of fossil fuel. Geothermal makes sense for us because we have it here in the Philippines and in Indonesia. This geothermal plant at Olkaria in Kenya is built near Lake Naivasha and alongside the Hell's Gate National Park. The lake's water remains pure and the park's flora and fauna are undisturbed by the power plant. The plant's design even takes into account the animals' habitual corridors of movement and allows easy passage to them. This is of great significance, with many new conventional energy projects running into difficulties over land acquisition and ecological issues. Because geothermal plants use water, forests actually benefit from them being located there as they provide water for irrigation, increasing the forest canopy, which ensures good precipitation to maintain local water bodies. Plant operators go to great lengths to maintain the local tree cover and are typically proactive in afforestation activities. At Lahandong in Indonesia, you can see another environmentally friendly aspect of geothermal energy at work. The Lahandong power plant generates large quantities of electricity for the local grid but the waste steam from it also powers a local agro-processing operation to produce palm sugar. Because of this, the palm sugar processing doesn't depend on fuel wood anymore, and the palm tappers who used to cut trees to process their produce now act as informal forest wardens protecting their local ecosystem. All over the world, Geothermal is giving a boost to green businesses. In Kenya, geothermal steam is also providing both power and heating for a large floriculture operation 
that generates only one-sixth of the carbon emissions, including product shipment, that similar businesses run on conventional power would. Even the small amount of greenhouse gases that emerge from the geothermal process are put to a positive use as an input for the flowering plants. The steam is also used to maintain temperature and humidity at levels that eliminate the need for chemical fungicides, adding another eco-friendly dimension to the operations. The Netherlands is another country that's pioneering geothermal use as a replacement for gas in large-scale greenhouse installations that are boosting the country's food security. Geothermal is allowing these agro-entrepreneurs to create controlled environments where they can grow all kinds of food crops whose import would otherwise have cost a lot in both foreign exchange and, importantly, in carbon emissions. In many parts of the world, geothermal systems that make use of the temperature differential between the Earth's surface and the underground layers are providing green solutions that heat houses in winter, as well as cooling them in summer with the same infrastructure. These are just a few of the many ways in which geothermal energy is revolutionizing the relationship between energy and the environment. When you take into account the fact that geothermal, in fact, encourages forest maintenance, the potential is amazing.